I got a sneeze. <laughs> Anybody any, got a any tips on on um, managing your your schedule so you can always uh, get time for 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 a proper study because I, I don't want to do this rushing or anything. So it's a good idea to have some tips. Yeah, you, you should uh, just write down your day-to-day -day schedule. You should think about five to, um, or I'm sorry, you should think about like the time that you have in your schedule and you should put time aside um, to do leisure activities. So for instance, let's say you, find, you have like five hours of time that you find that you can do stuff. You just spend like an hour and a half of that time, if not two hours of that time, uh, just digging around. Like when you go on Facebook, watch YouTube videos, something that you can get yourself out of though, like something that's not too engaging. Mm -hmm. It seems like weird to do something like that. Like what? Procrastinate. It's not procrastinating, just leisure time. But this time is used so that you can uh, say that you have time to do stuff outside of just working. But mm. the other three hours in that five hours should be work, okay? Mm. Uh, in fact, you should reward yourself with that work, well, after that work, with leisure time. Whether it's from video games, going online, whatever. Whatever you like to do, right? Mm -hmm. cool. Now, um, the catch here is that Let's say the next day, or whatever, for whatever reason, the next day you uh, you submitted work, uh, or I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Like you are, you didn't do as much work as you planned to do. So let's say you had the five hours, and for whatever reason, something came up. Life, life came up. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Do you understand kind of what I'm getting at here? And so then like life came up and now you're, um, you had to do that. You had to take care of that. So you didn't have time to work on the other thing. Make sense? Right. Yes. Yeah. So then the following day, because you made time to dick around, you can use that time to, to make up for the, the unforeseen issue. You see kind of the advantage of this? Because right. imagine if you didn't do that. Imagine like what normally what people would do. They're like, all right, time to go. Like boot, boot camp in this, you know? And they, they make themselves work. Like they have those five hours. And like, I'm going to spend every hour of that time working, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and let's say something comes up that day and now they're behind, right? Because let's say like yeah. they thought to themselves that they can do um, – 50 thumbnails that week because of all the time that they had scheduled. And then by the end of the week, they only have like 20 thumbnails. And so although that's still a good amount of work, what ends up happening is the psychology, the problem with how you feel about what's happened. That's, that's the thing that you want to get rid of because mm -hmm. that will make you feel like you failed. That will make you feel overwhelmed. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Make you do less. But the catch is that you should be always doing something, you know, even Not necessarily how many things yeah. you're doing is how you're doing. It, yeah. It, the, the thing that has more value is how often uh, and how consistent that is. So, you know, the story of the uh, tortoise and the hare. Yeah. I'm going to tell you my story because the one that they tell is, is good, but it, it's, there's a better version. One with death. Okay. Oh, good. Game of Thrones style. Yes. Tortoise and the hare. Um, so there was a tortoise and the hare, and the tortoise um, is preparing for a long journey. The hare is also preparing for the same long journey. But the hare says, you know, I'm only going to bring just enough supplies for the whole trip that I need, right? So that way mm -hmm. I'm perfectly balanced and I don't have to worry about anything. And um, the tortoise is like, well, you should still prepare some extra stuff because you never know, right? You never know what's mm -hmm. going to happen out there. And plus, you know, um, you should conserve energy too. You're a little rambunctious. And he's like, nah, F you, tortoise, what do you know? I, I beat you in that race. In this story, he beats him in the race because tortoises are slow as fuck. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And so, so he's like, okay, well, whatever. 
and so then the journey begins and the they commence along with all the other animals their journey the 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 hare is off to a good pace just like you would expect in the original story and he's running and he's actually getting way ahead and he feels like he has so much supplies and he's going he he feels like he can splurge a little bit on the first few days right mm-hmm. he he sprints he spent some time at oasis that's up ahead you know mm-hmm. exhausting all of his resources all, all along the way he's enjoying the view he's enjoying the 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 travels a lot of people are admiring him he's sharing his goods all stuff while the tortoise all the tortoise is doing is just staying true to his path and just keeps on walking right mm-hmm. eventually there comes a point where the the hare went too far ahead with too limited supplies and now the the hare is kind of shit out of luck and has nothing left right mm-hmm. and the hare starts to realize that he ate too much he he ran too fast he's exhausted too much and so he's trying to ask other people to share in his, like their goods and they're like we can't like this is all we got you know for our journey and he keeps begging and nobody's helping him out and by the time the tortoise reaches him because again the tortoise is fucking slow right mm-hmm. uh the hare's dead from starvation and dehydration and the tortoise is sad, but it's kind of like at the same time, like, fucking told you, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the tortoise and many of the other animals who didn't fucking overexhaust themselves keep true and they eventually end their journey to where they plan to go. Right? So the moral of the story is obviously, like, don't, like, splurge too fast. Don't try to rush things. It's actually better to go slow and steady, right? To mm-hmm. survive, not to win the race. Okay? Right. And uh, a lot of people kind of take the slow and steady wins race analogy um, in the context of like a race, but you should think of it as like a more of like a long, like marathon, right? Right. And life is a marathon. You're not, if you're very lucky, you're not going to die in the first years of your life. And all the actions that you do in your life will, will uh, benefit or punish future you. Right. Okay. And so I tell that story instead because that story is more meaningful. Uh, I can relate to that because um, I have this student who passed away a month ago, maybe. Oh, yeah. And he died. I I, I don't know if I ever mentioned this here, but um, he died the stupidest way ever. Like he was good. He was going to enter his car. He tripped, fell on the floor, hit his head, and died. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's my nightmare, yeah. dude. So it's uh, it was interesting to see the, the the reaction not only from me but from my students that they they they, they were they were outraged because this is this guy was really talented, and it, it, it was like over. And he's he was young. He was like four years old, and. So uh, I think it's, you have to do what you have to do at the time that is given to you. Not in the sense that you have to rush, as you said, but uh, you, you, you get that uh, you have to, b- to make be- the best you can with the time that you have because it might run out. So it's, if, if you get consistent, you, you get a, ch- a shot of doing that. If you're not, you're probably gonna be angry at yourself if you, think about if you realize that you're that you're all right okay you're gonna pass away by by the the most common way ever and you forgot to eat your vegetables that you said you know like you didn't accomplish anything because you weren't putting putting the right thing on the right moment you know yeah that's all i ever try to get across to to my students is that it's all about um consistency it's probably the most valuable tool ever but yeah. anyway yeah so put, put put the time aside think about what you have available to you okay mm-hmm. and then um put some time aside to do the very thing that you even just made a statement about of like living your life a little like uh, I, I actually include living your life i think it's actually bad strats to work super hard yeah, I agree. It's not sustainable. Uh, 
not i don't think that um when people use the word working hard they usually mean like putting a lot of man hours i think that we should redefine it um that it's hard to get good uh and to be consistent is the best way to get good you know like if we think of it differently uh it, it will take the stigma off of like working like a workhorse uh mm -hmm. but at the same time it doesn't discount the actual challenge because it is a challenge it shouldn't be something that um you're tricked to believing this easy to do. No, there is, there's no easy way around it. It's pretty yeah, it's, it's, it comes down to, to getting to know your brain. I, I mean, when you, if I, if I try to study before I go to sleep, that's, that's particularly me. I don't remember what I did as far as learning. Although, uh, as opposed to if I do this first thing in the morning, I'm definitely going to get way better than, if I just study at night, you know, but, but it's particular to each person. It's not necessarily a rule. And I remember, I remember when I had a class with Jane Radstrom, are you familiar with her? Uh, she's, no. a, she's a very good painter. She, she paints with, she's more classical and she paints uh, with uh, pastels and all. It's more, representative than anything and and she 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 said of the class work smart not hard yeah hey i'm gonna i'm gonna stop you there i'm gonna let um blucky ask Sorry. a question no it's all good <laughs> can't let you ramble for too long we gotta let right right go. no no it's it's only fair <laughs> <laughs> sorry right. guys yeah go, go ahead blucky yeah so i guess the answer to my question is pretty similar but i was wondering if you had tips for juggling multiple projects and how to keep the momentum going? Yeah, again, um, the word momentum, um, has, I think momentum is accurate. Like you wanna keep things moving, but I feel like the word, like when, we're, when in the context of when momentum is used, I think it's, it's it has the wrong, implications right like i think there's a better way of explaining what it is that you need to focus on and i think if i had to guess what would be a better word to, to try to like use it might be like um because i already think consistency is a pretty good word i like consistency um but if i had to like think of another word it would be like uh that distance is being covered it's not a word it's more like a phrase right because i think this idea of like momentum is like things are always constantly moving but there could be days where something's not moving right um but like if you look at it the longer haul so like like uh it's like a uh <laughs> i have symmetry to thought on. so just imagine this graph on this left this left side is the one that we're looking at okay so on this graph you have um you have you have these plots right of momentum and no momentum momentum and no momentum and momentum and no momentum right you see that mm -hmm. and you know what you want to do is make sure that the the average is constantly going up and it's like linear you know what i mean because because uh, it's it's this this feeling that I always try to make sure that people dis like disassociate with is that if they're not like if they're not hustling like you ain't hustling blucky what then you ain't going nowhere <laughs> you know it's like <laughs> hustle hustle uh, hustle strategy you know is not it's not the best uh in in the long run for for most people uh, a better strategy is a strategy that you can just keep following through so like for instance for me i'm working on multiple projects so i just do an hour or to two hours on each of these separate projects uh, and at the same time you got to be smart like if you have too many projects then you got to take some off the list right and just say i just can't do this until one other thing has been done Mm -hmm. you know 
Yeah. You got to be honest with yourself in that regard. If you have like 17 projects, you, know, you, just, you can't be like, AJ said I can be old. Now that, that's a little impractical, right? <laughs> but if you got like two or three, that's way more practical. You know, I, I'm a big fan of focus. Like you should stay focused. Mm-hmm. But it is possible to be focused on multiple projects. You just kind of have to have make sure they're all thematically the similar, right? So I'm working on like um, games, but they're all pretty similar. And then I have work and they're all for games. So it's all similar. It's all related. It's, they're mm-hmm. all feeding into one another, right? Like I, I did some like UI art for this like small indie game project that I'm working on with uh, uh, someone who's employed me to do that. And I've never done it before, but they're like, we, I want you to do it. Like, I don't care if it's bad, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, and normally I wouldn't do it something like this, but I was just like, in my mind, I was thinking, well, you know, this is my time to learn how to do UI and get paid for it, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I should learn it too, because I'm making my own games. So it might be good to have like this skill, you know, just for myself. Um, so I kind of like take that as an opportunity to, to get better at, uh, be a better generalist. Cause that's what I'm trying to become. I'm becoming like a master generalist, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but then like my video game project that I have, I have, I have a couple of them. Um, one of them, uh, I just need to meet up with my buddies uh, often. Right. And then we just talk whenever we can talk, uh, whether it's on the phone or whatever. And we just, that one's real slow and steady and there's no pressure at all. You know? Yeah. And I like it. I like it a lot. And then this other project is the one that I'm working on um, for myself is completely, um, it's completely mine. And I just want to like learn how to like make a thing from start to finish. You know, uh, I could show you guys some, some shout. I took some screenshots today and I'm going to pile some. And now I'm bringing back the recording. And that's the secret to concept art. <laughs> it will never be said again. I could only say it once every full moon. But uh, to get back to your question, um, yeah, just little by little, right? Uh, do everything. And like I, like I was saying, the, the, for instance, for the game project that I showed you, like uh, I probably will not be able to like kind of jump back into it like specific like coding stuff, right? Uh, For probably another few days or maybe next week sometime because I'm going to work, I have other work to do, right? And then I I need to do some more research, right? Mm -hmm. I'm putting some time aside so I can research. I I just realized this, this, there's no way I can use this character (laughs) because he's too crazy. I would have to have, uh, uh, I guess I'll just, I can ask my buddy, maybe he can animate it for me. (laughs) <laughs> um, but I would definitely need an animator for this design I can definitely make it though I can definitely sculpt it and create it I just don't, you know, I can't animate it like that chick, uh, even her I want her to have unique animations but that's for a later time um, but anyway any shway hope that helps yeah thanks Any other questions? Hey, Anthony. Hey, Anthony. What's up? Yeah. Have, has anyone ever told you, like, some of your art? Have you seen The Cell? You know, the <laughs> movie that Jennifer Lopez? Yeah, of course. I was like, your stuff looks just like, I was like, if they ever rebooted that oh, movie, totally. I was like, Anthony Jones would be the first. <laughs> no, I would be, I would be more than happy to. You're right. No, I, uh, it's funny you said that because I literally just watched the sale trailer this morning because I wanted to see it again. Yeah. I, I don't think I like those movies, though. I think they're, like, really stupid and um, boring. Uh, well, it, was a weird, it was just... It was just yeah, no, yeah, they're really bad. Um, but but to the art... Yeah. Nah, hell, hell no, that's dope. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that director. I really think he's a terrible storyteller. Um, oh, yeah. Because I saw all of his movies. I loved all of them specifically because they're visual. But they make no sense, and they're completely derivative. It's like really pretentious. His storytelling, like, no, dude, nobody gets your philosophy, bro. Yeah. Like, bring it, make some sense out of it. Like, right. like yeah. my, yeah, like even my uh, weird ass game idea that I just showed you. At least I'm like, 
cognitive of that the only thing that should be weird is just the art but like if i want people to actually care about the characters i, I need to tell a really like down-to-earth story right. some level <laughs> otherwise it's just going to be too abstract i don't i don't like that i don't like storytelling at that level but i, I love visuals at that level you know Definitely. so i think it's possible to have both have, yeah like, it's definitely possible but like you said if you you can't you can't have it's like playing a game that's hard and just challenging and frustrating at the same time it's like you can't yeah it's like battletoads right like battletoads yeah. pretty dope but then you get to that one level where you're on the the race bikes and shit and you keep running into like the thing you're like this is not fun like this is not, <laughs> this is not a challenge this is just like stupid like right, it's just pissing know? me off yeah i'm getting real mad like this is like clearly you guys cheated you have never taught me how to beat this um <laughs> like um like there's a, a level in crash bandicoot i haven't played it but like it's there's like a level where you're on like the bridge and everybody hates it because of the specific reason of like it's clear like the developers just put it just out of reach that it's a little frustrating right you know what i mean and i'm yeah. like oh man i i feel you That's but funny. Yeah, but uh, no, yeah, I hate I uh, hate all the stories. Um, I'm a big fan of his though. I, I just don't like uh, e even if you were to ask me like, do you like my movies? Like, I, I would have to be honest and be like, <laughs> I like the visuals, but like, I, I'm not a fan of the stories. Like, <laughs> it's like who are the designers? <laughs> yeah, like don't yeah don't don't get me wrong. I'll work on this, and I think other people still will hate this movie, <laughs> but <laughs> but I want to be a part of this because this is cool. Yeah. Like, I like to draw stuff like this. Um, yeah, I, um, uh, I watch all his movies, too. Uh, if he made another one, I'll watch it, too. I'll watch it again. Right, um, right. Man. Um, uh, at least most of his movies. Maybe not all of his movies, but, like, uh, like uh, Immortals. That was another one of those. Like, yep. it's really cool. It was, like, 300 if it had a lot more artistic style. 300 was good, though, too, but it's, like, it's clearly, like, testosterone-filled. Oh, which is fine I, I don't mind that because i actually like movies like this like the what you call it movie with um the rock and jason statham it's like a fast yeah, uh, part. The one down no 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 but that's you reminded me oh you said you said jason statham not that uh i'm thinking about uh damn mark Wahlberg. is that the one who plays in in the rundown no i think i think it is jason statham isn't it no no that, oh, that's no, that that like stiffler yeah, Stifler, you're right. Stifler guy. No, I got the wrong. No, this is uh, a like, martial artist. Something in Hobbs. It's like the. It's a new. It's just coming out. Or uh, okay. or, or uh, Bad Boys. Like I'm in looking forward to that. You know, like I, I'm a very fan of action movies. But yeah. what I'm saying is that like, um, uh, Immortal was Immortals were like was like really beautiful. Um, yeah. like, there was a scene that looked like uh, straight out of a painting. It was amazing. Um, yeah, but that movie is garbage too, man. I was like, this is stupid. What's going on, man? Um, <laughs> the fall is probably the worst yeah. and the most beautiful. <laughs> it, it's it's real like that one is like hard because it's like I really don't want to. After I saw Immortals, I was just like, well, fall is not gonna be that great. Yeah, I just knew falls wasn't gonna be good. I just knew it. Yeah. But but you're not wrong. Like I am a fan of that. Like if the yeah. but you know, uh I I can try to make that content now, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like I could I could be the person that makes that kind of stuff that I really like. And then try to also have it uh, have an appeal that people can actually enjoy. <laughs> you know, but that's what I'm just, saying. I feel like you do a good job with that. Well, I haven't done it interactively yet. Right. Like it's one oh. thing to just have like a flat image. Mm -hmm. uh, it's another thing to like try to tell a story that yeah. captivates and I, I might just do just as bad <laughs> yeah. you know maybe it's just uh, doomed for this process but who knows um right right uh i, I don't care regardless uh, i think it's <laughs> it's, a, it's a genre that i really enjoy yeah all right any other questions i'm gonna get going one more question for me do you want me for my assignment, uh, uh, for my assignment, do you want me to do it in color or just grayscale, or just keep just keep grayscale? Uh, I'll leave it up to you, but I'll say grayscale is fine. All right. We're not on to color colors next week. 
but grayscale for sure is fine. Just okay. And that goes for anybody. Uh, uh, if you want to try color, uh, it's fine. I'm not going to hold you back. All I care about is quality. Right. All right. Okay. All righty. Uh, any other questions? Uh, AJ? Yes. Hi. Hello. So, uh, while I was watching you paint, uh, I could see that you, uh, you can, you know, hold yourself from zooming in too much. How do we apply that? Because <laughs> I find myself <laughs> zooming in. Uh, there's, there's no way around it. You just got to practice doing that. <laughs> it, 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 what you're explaining to me or what the question is is basically yeah. asking is like how do i get rid of this bad habit yes <laughs> it's, it's just a bad habit and if you recognize that then you just got to do it but remember when i was talking to andre about like you know this idea of procrastination is usually a symptom of neglect or avoidance you know mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so like whenever you don't zoom in or whatever you zoom don't zoom out it's the, it's the same thing. It's all part of the same, like everything that I talk about and try to teach you guys is always revolving around fighting against your own brain. Your brain is constantly trying to make it so that you don't get hurt. You know, it has your best intentions in mind. It's just, it, it, it are, are, we're animals, you know, we don't have um, a highly functional uh brain for the modern world right it's mm -hmm. just not built for it um like doesn't mean that we can't have technology and people can't do it like in fact the, the very people that i feel like build these technologies that we enjoy so much are the very people that are very uh good at creating awesome content for us um uh, have some sort of social uh discrepancy <laughs> you know like um uh, like the lady who did the 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 black hole stuff right like have you heard her talk like she's clearly like a a, a very specific personality type like she's got like some uh, some bits of autism in her you know and i'm not and i'm not saying that as an insult actually i actually think that people who are are at a lower spectrum of the autism are like supposed to be the next generation humans because they think way more logically and they have way more objective opinions you know uh -huh. usually uh -huh. Right, they they don't fall into their emotions too easily. That's kind of the point of why they struggle a lot of times. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's not because they're dumb or like they're handicapped in their heart like a really terrible way. There's there's some people that are really uh, have high functioning autism, right? That's really bad. It's really it is bad in every way, right? But there's those mm -hmm. who are low functioning autism, like the ones that just have like really crazy OCD. Like you kind of want that person to design like a spaceship that you're going to pilot because they're going to like double check everything a million times. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Uh, they're the ones that kind of don't listen to their primitive brain, you know? And they're, they're also the very ones that if, if we didn't have this modern society, they're going to be the first ones to die probably. Right. Or get killed or get lost in the, in the environment or shunned by the rest of society, you know, but because the side of society has is slowly, but surely gotten more progressive and more, accepting of others of different personality types and different uh walks of life these people thrive you know more so than they would have and that's a good thing in some ways you know and mm -hmm. and so getting to the point i'm trying to make is that uh, not all of us have that uh, and mm -hmm. i'm including myself in this right <laughs> like it's not easy to just be like like objective like okay you know i should always stay zoomed out because it just makes my painting better. I see the whole picture all the time. Like, yeah. I can tell you that, and you actually already know that, but uh -huh. are you doing it? <laughs> you're not, right? <laughs> and that's, that's because your primitive brain's like, shut up, you don't know what you're talking about, you know? And it wins every time if you don't fight it. You know, you have mm -hmm. to actually, like, talk to yourself in a way where you're like, oh, I'm zoomed, I'm zoomed in again, you know? <laughs> so maybe what you can do is like get a timer and like every five minutes like just like dee -dee 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 -dee. and then be like, am i zoomed in right now like like pen pencils down am i zoomed okay. in right now oh shit, i am Fuck. okay i need to zoom out you know like do things that you can do to catch mm -hmm. yourself in the act right indirectly uh, i don't know man uh, i didn't have any plans and i i've been really asked that question other than like 
I, I know what you're trying to ask, but it's like, it's a really hard question to answer because mm -hmm. it's one of those things, like I can tell you what to do, but it's, you got to just start doing it. It's, it's, it's easier to teach you how to paint forms than to teach right. you how to stay zoomed out. <laughs> it seems like it wouldn't be right. It seems like zooming out would be there'd be really easy. no. That's like a that's like a bad habit, dude. Uh, that's that's really hard to teach people. It's really hard to teach people to stop being so messy with their paintings. Like just like make decisions. That's hard to uh -huh. teach people because again, it goes really against your primitive thinking, you know. And uh, I know, man. I I'm sorry. Uh, if I were to have any talent at all or any kind of like prerequisite skill. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not that it's that I don't care that I, it hurts. Like I'm a masochist at some level, you know, like I'm like, Oh, I feel the pain, you know, mm -hmm. I could feel that anxiety, but I just kind of muscle through it. Uh, to give you a, a good example, it's kind of gross. Like whenever I would party like really hard, I would start to like need to vomit and I would just not vomit, you know, I would just mm -hmm. fight it. <laughs> and I, I would win like 80% of the time. You know, and I, I think about that. I'm like, I don't know if that's actually healthy. I think my body is trying to tell me to get rid of whatever is in my body, but it's just like this super stubborn like resolve I have of like, no, I'm in control. <laughs> and uh, I think that's well, kind of stupid now to think about it out loud, right? But it's like, um, but the, I'm just trying to use that example as like an example of like, uh -huh. of like how I will will endure pain regardless. And I think it all stems from a, a time where I watched a movie. It's called Without Limits. And there was mm -hmm. a character. Well, it's based off a real guy, right? Like, he's one of the greatest, uh, mer or greatest long distance runners. And mm -hmm. um, the, the person interviewed him, they asked him, like, what do you think it is that makes you so much better than all the other racers, all the other runners? You know, what separates you from the pack? And he, he, he said something that I thought was so profound. He was like, look, man, I'm not any better than any of these guys. Like some of these guys are actually more talented than me. They're better runners. They have better form. They can run really well and fish it, you know, and they can keep their times consistent. That's really hard. Um, I can't, but I, I know I have one thing that they don't have. And it's that I can fight through the pain, you know, when when the pain is hitting me, you know, I feel like my gut is like on fire. I can feel my heart about to burst out of my chest. I can feel my legs burning. I can get. I can feel the cramps in my sides. I can feel my toes blistering. You know, mm -hmm. and I just run even faster because I know the next guy, uh, the guy next to me, is not going to be able to handle that. And that's how I win races. That's how I beat world record. And um, I was like, damn, it's dope. You know, uh, but again, I don't know if that's entirely healthy because <laughs> uh, he was, he was too hard. He went too hard too much <laughs> and he, he ultimately died. Not because of that, but this one tragedy, but it's just like uh, most Olympic athletes, when they get older, they are all brittled and like broken, you know, but, yeah. but that, uh, that definitely works when it comes to just like studying. I think it's a lot healthier to kind of be able to like, uh, endure the pain for something like that because it's less in, in aggressive, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's 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 all kind of wired the same, like the same mechanisms that control that are all pretty similar, you know. Yeah. And so it, it's 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 worth trying to rewire a bit. Is all I'm saying. Okay. All and right. You can, you can totally rewire it, and to the point where when you start to study something, uh, you feel that stress and anxiety, but you don't. It's never. It's, it doesn't overcome you. Like I was talking about yeah. that programming stuff, like I was stressed out, like I was explaining earlier, but it wasn't like what I would normally experience for my students or like what I experienced when I was in the, when I first started out. It was more of like a, oh, okay, this is a, a road and it's really frustrating that I don't see the answer, but it will come to me eventually. I just got to be patient. That's kind of how I think about it now, you know? Mm -hmm. and I was like, it could take me a week, it could take me two weeks, it could take me a year. Like, okay, I'll wait, you know? Mm -hmm. And then uh, right. I found the solution and then I was like, okay, but I don't like that. I didn't know it so easily. So what can I do to alleviate this problem in the future? Uh, oh, learn trigonometry. That might be the solution. And I say might, because it might not be. Maybe it's linear algebra, like lucky was, you know? Yeah. But I, I don't like let it get me down is what I'm getting at. I, I, I just think, okay, well, what else can I do to uh, make it easier? Mm -hmm. Make sense?
Yep. Yeah. Turkey. All right. Cool. All right, guys. I'm going to save this and then get on out of here. All righty. Let me go ahead and save this too. Peace out, friends. Hope you guys have a great, great uh, weekend. It was a good class. You guys did some good work here. And uh, thanks for hanging in. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Peace out, friend. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to watch more in the future. If you like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you like this content, you can go to my website, robotpencil.net, where you can find mentorships, tutorials, and a Patreon to get more exclusive content. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in my next videos.